So frame within a frame is a really good compositional technique which allows you to use a frame within your frame to concentrate the viewer's eye into the main subject. It really helps lead the viewer's eye into what you want them to be looking at. It's a really simple technique. All you do is find something like a frame or a window or a hole or anything like that and you shoot through that to the main subject. So you've got your frame, which is your camera's frame, that rectangle that you look through, and in there you're looking at a frame and then inside that frame you've got your main subject. And that's basically the principle of frame within a frame. So to demonstrate this shot, we have come to a place called St Dunstan's in the East, which is, uh, it was bombed in the war. It's an old church that was bombed in the war and it's absolutely made for frame within a frame because it's full of arches and windows like what you can see there. We're going to do a portrait shot with the lovely Laura here, all right? <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to frame Laura so that this is in the background, so that's a frame. And there's also a frame right in front of me here, like an archway. And I'm going to put her basically in that. Therefore, frame within a frame. So, let's take the shot. So, to explain the, all the technical stuff, I'm using a full frame camera here. I've got an 85mm prime lens on, which is a great lens for portraiture. I've got the aperture set to f2.8. I've got the shutter speed set to 250th of a second. And the reason I've set it at 250th is because, you know, we're quite zoomed in on this lens and it's very easy to get camera shake with an 85 mm prime lens, especially if you're hand holding like what I am. Um, and I've put the ISO on auto to pick up the slack. Now, what you need to do is you need to make sure that you keep your eye on that ISO, that it doesn't go too high, all right? It is currently coming in at, uh, da, 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 yeah, around about 600, ISO 600 at the minute, roughly. Um, so yeah, there are my camera settings. And the other thing I'm gonna do is use a silver reflector to reflect light back into Laura to brighten up the face. So it's quite dull today, so we need a bit of light in there, all right? And let's just take the shot. So that is just one way to use frame within a frame. Of course, there are many, many others, and we are gonna go back to the studio now and look at some more examples. Let's just say thanks to Laura for being our model for the day. You're very welcome. Thank you, and we'll see you back in the studio. Okay, we are back now and we're gonna look at lots more examples of using frame within a frame because like I said, it's not just about using it for portraiture. So we're gonna look at them in a second, but before I do, I wanna take this opportunity to tell you about the courses that we run over at theschooloffotography.com. If you wanna learn photography properly in a structured and professional way, come over and see us because we have a range of online courses to help you out. We are professional, fully qualified teachers and you are guaranteed to learn photography properly and retain that knowledge now and forever. So if you do want to learn photography properly, come over and see us. We've got a range of online courses in photography, obviously, but we've also got Photoshop, Lightroom, Studio Lighting, Landscape Photography, and many, many other things. So come over and see us at theschooloffotography.com where we will teach you properly like we have done for thousands of people all over the world. Okay, now let's go and have a look at some of these examples.
And here is a pretty literal example of frame within a frame, okay? We are looking through a window frame, which in, you know, an old derelict building or whatever. And again, that's just a really easy way to do it, isn't it? You can look through windows, you can look through doors, as long as what's through that door and window is actually quite interesting to look at. Um, and then, you know, you get a good effect of using frame within a frame. Let's have a look at the next one. Again, another really easy thing to do, just literally have a empty picture frame, put it up into the air or like this person's here, and take pictures of whatever it is that you want to frame, you know, the main part of the picture. It's a really, really easy technique and it just adds a lot of interest into the picture. Let's have a look at another example. And this person here is obviously using modern technology. I really quite like it, so it's, it's a fun, it's a fun idea. It's obviously a picture of someone using a mobile phone to take a picture of another mobile phone taking a picture, all right? I just thought it was really, really fun. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you because, you know, this is another example of using frame within a frame, okay? Let's go to the next one. And here's one that I took. And quite simply with this particular picture, we are using the hood of a coat. You know, the furry part of, of a hood, one of them big winter jackets. You pull that over the head, you, sh you, you get the model to pull it in and you can shoot through that and it frames the picture nicely. Frame within a frame, very good technique for portraiture. Let's have a look for, at the next one. And here's uh, another one of my examples of St. Paul's Cathedral in London. And if you walk around St. Paul's, there's all sorts of public art everywhere. And this is one of them. And quite simply, I'm bending down low and I'm shooting through this sculpture here. And uh, St. Paul's Cathedral is framed in the middle of it. Frame within a frame, okay? Very easy, you just walk around and see. See what you can shoot through. And as long as the thing that's inside your frame, within the frame, is interesting, it's normally gonna look all right. It just it really adds another dimension to your picture. Let's have a look at the next one. And here's another one of my examples, another portrait. And here, the dress that the model had on had you know, lots of feathers going over the arms. And basically, I got her to hold her arms above her head and the feathers created this lovely frame and I shot through to get this shot. So we've got a frame within a frame, but the frame uh, within this frame is the feathers and the, it's the actual dress of the shot. So don't forget that you can use clothing and whatever else the model's got on. You can use a scarf if you want, you know, like a head scarf, whatever. Just get creative and use frames within frames. And now it is your turn. I want to see your use of frame within a frame. To show us all you do is hashtag the School of Photography on social media and follow us obviously on Instagram and Facebook and then you can see other people's examples as well. Please support us. We really need you to support us by liking this video, hitting that bell button, subscribing and hitting the bell button. You really do need to hit that bell button, otherwise you won't hear from us ever again. So make sure you hit that bell button. Give us a comment, tell us what you think of this technique. Do you like it? Or do you use any other techniques that you may think will benefit others? Put it in the uh, comments of this video. Don't forget to come over and check out our online courses at theschooloffotography.com. I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and remember, learn more at the School of Photography. Mm -hmm.